<laughs> EMX 950 series thermal imaging camera system. The camera system is white and it looks like a face. Two eyes and a nose. Low quality images show that the camera system can be attached to boats and all terrain vehicles. Land and sea. No mention of outer space. A list of potential sites of day-night perimeter surveillance is presented in the following order in the description of the product. Military installations, prison, nuclear, chemical and oil facilities, pipelines. This product is made by EMX International. At a time when most companies try to hide their phone number, they prominently display theirs at the top of the page. The left-hand side of the website lists EMX's other camera systems. The 950 heads the list, followed by the Kestrel, Midwatch, Sentinel, and Vanguard. One number and four words. The word rugged appears three times. Rugged is not a word traditionally applied to the inanimate. The upper portion of the camera system casts a shadow over the back half of the base. The front half remains in light. There is a handle between the two eyes, perhaps for carrying or to grip during installation. There is no price listed. One year warranty though. Don't go breaking your thermal imaging camera system after 366 days. 360 degrees rotation, round and round, perhaps into the fourth dimension, time that is. There are two models listed, one small and one big. There is no medium. <laughs> Premium Atlas toilet paper, two ply, 96 rolls of 500 sheets. In all caps, the website requests the login to see prices. The paper is made from 100% recycled fiber and bears the ultimate mark of environmental responsibility standard for tissue products. The toilet paper itself is described as white, soft, absorbent, overall embossed and individually wrapped. Charmtex chooses not to use an Oxford comma. The toilet paper is distributed by Charmtex. The packaging of the toilet paper is green and white with a tree in the middle of a circle, which is bordered by leaves. When you hover the cursor over the small picture of the single roll of packaged toilet paper, the cursor becomes a magnifying lens of sorts, enabling the viewer to see the toilet paper package in great detail. The website suggests that I might also be interested in acidic bathroom and bowl cleaner, metered aerosol, bright orange trash bags, and a center pull roll and dispenser. One of the tabs on this website is free samples. The actual paper packaging has a copyright from a company called Renature. They are the manufacturer. Charmtex describes themselves as providers of jail supplies. Humane Restraint HSB 100 Suicide Safety Blanket. There is a very handsome white man modeling the suicide safety blanket. His general handsomeness makes me think he isn't actually suicidal. This is not a fair assumption. He appears to be nude under the blanket. He is shown in two poses. In one, he is lying down and sleeping under the blanket. He is using the crook of his arm as a pillow, but it appears to be the underside of his arm, an untraditional and uncomfortable position to sleep in. In the second pose, he is at a, he is at a sitting position with the blanket draped over his whole being. He is staring straight at the camera. The second photo was su superimposed over the first, making the whole thing somewhat comical. The cost of this item is $96.85, and it is manufactured by the Anchortex Corporation, the self-proclaimed safe choice for protective clothing and equipment. In Anchortex, there are graphics above and below the T. When combined, they form an anchor. They choose to do this rather than making the T itself an anchor. The description of the product does not paint a full picture of what makes this blanket suicide safe. The product is made of material that deters shredding and tearing. The description does not provide further evidence that this expensive blanket is really any more suicide preventative than a regular blanket. The product claims to be ideal for patient suicide prevention, safety, and comfort. This item is not available for personal sale. Thank you. My first product is CPC Retrofit Detention Locks. CPC sells locks that can be used on detention doors. 
The company's website claims these locks are based on the various sizes of the doors and they can be used to replace pre-existing pre locks that are outdated. In effect, they are meant to do a better job keeping people locked away. Its purpose clearly is a very serious one. Yet this website uses language which strikes a contrasting tone, attempting to add humor. The company motto is, built to last a life sentence. Instead of saying these locks would last a lifetime, they use wordplay, meant to be clever and witty, referencing the longest prison term someone can be given. The wordplay continues in the first line of text on the webpage. Feeling locked into buying from a certain manufacturer or distributor, it asks. The advertisement uses the language of imprisonment, being locked in, casting the customer as the prisoner. But the company wants to stress it can bring the customer to freedom. In effect, it can spring them if they only they purchase these locks. The company is located in San Antonio, Texas. Its logo is a lone star, a symbol of Texas, but in the center is a keyhole. This visual connects the state with detention and imprisonment as if to convey that the state sanctions the idea behind the product. The site is written in insider language, addressing those who understand the meaning of a retrofit or pneumatic lock. Yet it also attempts to normalize the products, to present, to present CPC as an every man, we are just like you way. The very casual phrase, you bet, appears two times in the copy. And the tagline about being built to last a life sentence appears across the top of the site's nine pages, a reminder that CPC may sell locks, but they can do it with a tongue-in-cheek wink. Searching the site, you learn that the company has replaced locks for places including San Quentin, Rikers, and Guantanamo Bay. Next we have Charmtex electronic cigarettes. E-cigarettes have gotten a lot of press lately as the cool, newish thing popping up in bars and hipster cafes. The Charmtex electronic cigarette is intended to address and solve two common problems in prison populations. The first is the desire for cigarettes. The second is the fact that plastic products in prisons can be turned into weapons. Charm text in three lines of text written in a straightforward way explains that their electronic cigarettes are made of bendable plastic and cannot be made into shanks. The site's design is sparse. There's a lot of white space on it and the image of the cigarette does not rotate or show it from different angles. The copy with lines like, these cigarettes have been designed designed specifically for use in correctional facilities, is as minimal as the, as the design. There are no fancy turns or phrases or long ex explanations. The copy addresses what the buyer needs to know. This product cannot double as a weapon, just one equals two and a half packs of cigarettes, and there are two flavors available. One deviation from this no-nonsense presentation is the use of the possessive pronoun, R, to describe the e-cigarette. Ours is completely flexible and can be bent, it reads. The usage of this pronoun adds an element of connection. There is not, this is not just any e-cigarette, it is ours, it is distinctive. The pronoun adds a layer of responsibility. This company claims ownership and stands behind its claims of not only what the product can do, bring relief to tobacco addicts, but what it can promise, safer, less violent prison conditions. ICS Jail Supplies, Lice Killer. In order to convince suppliers to purchase this product, a hybrid lice, bed bug, and dust ant prevention spray, ICS appeals to the fears of the prison staff. It is sold under the category personal care. These words appear near the top of the webpage, directly above a photograph of the spray can. Due to this placement, the initial impression is that this is a personal care item to be used on people's bodies. It also connects infestation with something personal. Yet the copy under the product explains that it is, used, it is to be used on inanimate objects. The largest word on the bottle is bed bug, which is not surprising since this creature holds a special place of fear, having enjoyed a trendy run as the scariest bug to target humans. The target audience of this product description is not the inmates affected by infestation, but the staff. A correctional facility staff is invested in the division between who can get these bugs and who cannot, the prisoners versus them. So part of the motivation to keep bugs out of prisons is selfish, to keep them from following staff home in their cars and clothes when they leave work. The short copy tells a few things. It is safe, it is effective, it is FDA registered. Although it does not say approved, by using the acronym FDA, the product immediately seems safer. Other things available for sale and pictured on the page are medical grade latex gloves, a lice comb, and anti-lice shampoo. All of these products are apparently listed because they are also personal care, but each emphasizes a pronounced theme, separation. Keep the bugs off the products. Keep the lice out of hair. Keep hang hands from touching skin during medical exams or food service. And although it is not noted, keep prison staff from fully coming into contact with the inmates or their conditions. 
It is a web page focused on prevention, but titled Personal Care. Thank you. My first product is Nature Mint Toothpaste at 1.5 ounce. Bob Barker, the prolific national distributor of prison-related apparatuses, sells toothpaste in bulk at 144 units a case for $38. There are two tags attached to the image of the Nature Mint toothpaste tube, a red thumbs up and a blue hospital cross, indicating that the toothbrush is both a best seller and an emergency needs item. Should a prospective buyer encounter issues in purchasing um, a Bob Harper detention supply, a 1-800 number is available in the upper right-hand corner. The production description is laconic, two to three worded, bullet pointed, and functional. It contains this, it fights this, it is this. Below the product description is an option to subscribe for further Bob Barker offers and promotions via email. Its partners are prominently displayed. Officers only, a sort of Bob Barker subsidiary that carries apparel and protective gear that are pertinent to correction officers, and the Bob Barker Company Foundation, which seeks to reduce recidivism by, I quote, serving God, family, and community, end quote. The Bob Barker Company is accessible through social media and professional platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. My second product is the Ranger Security Detectors Boss 2 Body Orifice Security Scanner Chair. The product description for the Boss 2 Scanner Chair listing is more verbose. The blue tabs above the product listing features categories of products for military, plant and work zones, and public safety workers. In addition to prison facilities, one scanner chair costs $11,359.85 a price that is boldly highlighted in green and does not include the fright rate. There are at least five instances of an opportunity to contact Anchor Tech Corporation or customer service, either through a contact form to the sales department or by dialing a toll-free number. The four major attributes of the scanner chair are listed. One, to help eliminate stabbings and slashings. Two, mobility of the equipment. Three, overall efficient screening. And four, unique measurement technique. The product unique, safe, and dependable high efficiency is emphasized through active voice sentences. Quote, boss allows scanning of the oral, abdominal, anal vaginal, leg shin, and foot area for potential contraband. And quote, boss minimizes the need for unpleasant manual searches and increases the safety of officers and inmates, end quote. The apparent versatility of the scanner chair extends beyond jail bars, as it could be used in minting, jewelry, and customs and borders facilities. Uh, my third product is the 2416DM7K CC in clear cabinet electronic memory typewriter, New York version. The SwingTech Clear Cabinet Typewriter goes for almost $300 per unit and is approved for sale to New York State inmates. The typewriter looks like a clear case with a toner cartridge and a standard black computer keyboard. A contact form for customer or product-related matters is located in the upper left corner and a 1-800 number is listed for the same purpose. The bolded categories section features other product accessories that could be bought to complement the typewriter, such as typewriter ribbons and operation manuals. Also in this section are two categories that feature Spanish typewriters. Swintech accepts the most popular credit cards for payment, such as Discover, MasterCard, Visa, and American Express. Above these four credit card logos are options regarding company information, secure payment, and return policy. Some of the language in the product description reads in the passive voice. I quote, if you don't catch a typo, chances are the 2416 DM7K CCN's built-in spellproof will. Some soft selling language is present in the description as well. Quote, with its crystal clear cabinet and its 7,000 character storage memory, the 2416DM7K CC in is specifically designed for use by inmates incarcerated in correctional facilities, end quote. And my first product is the Charmtex See-Through Shower Curtain. The product is referred to in the title as the See-Through, with a hyphen, Shower Curtain Grommet Closure. Whereas in the description, 
It is called see-through, sans hyphen, shower curtain. When hyphenated, see-through is an adjective used to describe transparent physical material or a noun meaning the variation of a material's transparency. Minus the hyphen, see-through is a phrasal verb used to describe seeing through deception. Perhaps Charmtex, the name of the manufacturer, implying a union of charm and technology, found it charming to feature a male French mime in the product's sole image. Mime, silent physical theater, is used in this theater, an individual's shower stall with a transparent curtain, to suggest falling rain and confusion. The performer's umbrella is red. Red is the color of blood, also the color used to indicate stop or a state of emergency. He wears white miming gloves. Gloves of this kind can also be used to obscure fingerprints, which are proof of identity. Likewise, the mime's white face paint functions as an erasure or a mask. The word individual is used once in the product description, but not in the description of how the curtains are packed, which simply states, packed each. The curtain's transparency allows every move of the individual to be monitored. The only time the purpose of the see-through, see-through material is mentioned. The material is mildew and fungi resistant, as well as tear resistant, Tears referring, in this case, to the tears an individual might inflict upon the curtain. My next product is the Cook's 617S Tan Flex Tray. The product image shows a tray with six compartments, each space filled with food to provide the suggested daily servings of the food groups. The sandwich, containing what appears to be a hefty amount of turkey with lettuce, occupies the largest compartment. It has been rotated as to not interfere with the predominant rounded square shape of the beige tray. Despite the variety of food groups shown in the image, the real appeal to the tray lies not in its ability to contain a complex meal, but in its revolutionary silicone material. The product description begins with a question. Trying to enhance the security in your facility? Followed by four exclamatory sentences, which indicate the many ways in which plastic trays, the implied alternative, have been manipulated into weapons. The second product image, an accompanying video, demonstrate the cook's tray's unbreakable flexibility. While Cook's promises outstanding performance, i.e. the impossibility of weaponization, they offer a two-year, no questions asked, full replacement warranty. They give four additional reasons why you should buy from them. Two points friendly in tone, highlighting how much Cook's staff by real people want to help, and two more serious, reminding the shopper that Cook's offers thousands of products and a safe, secure, and convenient shopping experience. While the shopper's privacy is their, quote, highest priority, icons are embedded for shoppers to share or like products and their experience on multiple social media platforms. They are also invited to join Cooks on these platforms, as well as to sign up to be email insiders. My last product is underwear disposable mesh briefs. ICS jail suppliers' disposable mesh briefs are modeled by two disembodied female mannequins, one with yellow skin tone, a small waist and ample hips, the other brown-skinned with a more androgynous figure. The mannequins' bodies begin at the knee and end above the navel. The partial human forms are sans heads, chests, or feet. While the groin area is featured, there is no suggestion of genitalia. A zoom-in function allows the viewer to glance more closely at the sexless bodies, 
However, doing so reveals nothing more than the effect of harsh lighting, which produces a glare on the skin. Available in orange or white, and only in large or extra large, the briefs are disposable, and a quick scan of the product page shows that they belong to a group of disposable items filed under related products. These additional products are modeled by two smiling, real human, blonde Caucasian females, disposable isolation gown and bouffant caps, a pair of demurely posed human female feet for pillow paws, while the others, scrub pants, hairnets, etc., stand devoid of a human form, either real or modeled after human parts. All are disposable. ICS Jail Suppliers, Inc. bills themselves as fast, cheap, and better quality to boot. Further examination of the product page indicates that ICS sells their products mostly in bulk, preferably by the dozen, the case or the box. The adjective comfortable is used once, attached only to the extra large briefs, which are sold 300 count, as opposed to the large, which are packed 400 count. Thank you. The first product is Africa's Best Phoenix Supply. Africa's Best, Best Phoenix Supply, which bills itself as the premier source of all jail, correctional, government, and facility supplies, offers Africa's Best, B E S and T are capitalized. In the lower left hand corner, the company logo of a phoenix rising, ironically, over a product for the incarcerated. Africa's best is interpreted by Phoenix is Supplies, and it's a 12 ounce moisturizing shampoo with conditioner. The observer is conditioned to note in passing that this prison product contains sulfites. Sulfites allow soaps, shampoos, and body washes to separate dirt and oil from your skin or hair, and then allow the water you rinse it with to carry it off your body and down the drain. Protein enriched Africa's best Phoenix supply claims to cleanse and condition. Sold by the case at 12 bottles per case. The price is $36.88. Phoenix Supplies also offers four ounce bergamot hair dressing, $20.17, as well as Let's Jam, 4.4 ounces, $24.50. According to the description, excellent for thinning hair, bald scalps, and all hair types, including natural, relaxed, pressed, curls, texturized, or color treated hair. We can all relax in knowing that on the customer testimonial page, an anonymous quote says, we appreciate the great efforts you have made to assist us in accomplishing our mission over the years. It does not go unnoticed. What also does not go unnoticed is that it is categorized un under personal hygiene and ethnic, for only one presumes Africa's best. Our next product is the Guard Towers. Under the category of bullet-resistant enclosures, yes, that is an actual category, and structural armor systems stands the guard towers. The fully prefabricated Protec turret-like guard towers have many possible uses, including, according to the site, perimeter security applications at nuclear facilities, at military installations, border crossing, chemical petroleum plants, and, of course, correctional facilities. At present time, Mirabel Dick II, the guard tower does not come with barbed wire. Still, by the looks of it, it could survive any conceivable post-apocalyptic scenario. Aside from bullet and optional blast resistance, the guard towers are also hurricane rated with optional catwalk, though not the catwalk for student with models. It is instructive to note that buyers have the option of shooting stations. Severe blast event, geographical seismic concerns, the Protec Armor Systems Guard Towers are an armor system designed to meet the most stringent security and structural standards, or so they tell us. Finally, customized solutions with regards to support for commercial, military, and homeland security requirements are possible. On the customer testimonial page, an anonymous quality manager at OEM Aerospace Design and Manufacturing Company wrote, your company's ratings are 100% for quality and 100% for delivery. Thank you for the high performance. The careful observer wonders in passing what, say, a 70% rating for delivery would entail. 
and my final product is portion control dishers. The portion control dishers are NSF ergonomic handle dishers, color-coded, marked with portion size. They look not unlike mini ice cream scoopers, if ice cream were confinement loaf. Dishers are the sort of tableware one expects to find among those who have difficulty with portion control and need help in regulating calories as well as portions. When applied to grown men and women, they appear to infantilize. Often, it says in the Wikipedia entry on prison food, private civilian contractors are responsible for all aspects of food preparation, including training, adherence to recipes, food safety, theft prevention, and portion control. Are these dishes for portion control, adherence to recipes, proper nutrition allotted by the government? There are 11 color codes, orange, white, gray, ivory, green, blue, yellow, red, black, orchid, and of course, stainless steel. A riot of color to be sure, but question, who on what committee green-lighted orchid? The, the orange disher, because orange is the new black, measures up to eight ounces. The white, 5.33 ounces, the gray, four ounces, ivory, 3.25 ounces, green, 2.66 ounces, blue, two ounces, yellow, 1.63 ounces, red, 1.33 ounces, black, one ounce, an orchid 0.75 ounces. Only a little orchid after all. <laughs> Further, there are four different stainless steel color dishers, 0.63, 0.56, 0.5, and 0.3 ounces each. On the customer testimonial page, an anonymous security director at an anonymous nuclear power station writes, excellent service, clarified any unclear communication through drawings. Thank you. <laughs> An optical illusion of a prison wall is the face of the home page advertising Aramark's correctional facility services. It is unclear if the yard surrounded by a brick wall with barbed wire and a guard tower is located on the inside or the outside. Either way, the written and visual message conveys Aramark's awareness that security is the primary goal. Offender meals. Offender meals copy opens and closes with the focus on cost. The final quote being, it all adds up to savings for you and the taxpayer. A, a compartmentalized frozen dinner-like plate with a Mexican food-themed meal provides entryway into the sustenance offered for offenders in correctional facilities. By a company which has provided these services for more than 35 years and boasts a 97% re retention of their clients. Two soft tacos filled with onions, peppers, and a meat provide context for portion size. Rice and beans fill up another equally sized space and these protein slash starch combinations are bordered by a salad of chopped lettuce, finely chopped onions and tomatoes, and a yellow cake dessert topped with cream colored icing. The focus of Aramark for this product is that the meal quote works successfully for its intended purposes. Those purposes are to, prov to provide nutrition in an efficient and satisfying way. Words geared toward the industry heavily pepper the sparse copy. Words such as expertise, quality, satisfaction, efficiency, safety, and protocols. For employee dining solutions, they pledge to, quote, provide an emotionally rejuvenating dining experience for the, your officers and staff. Aramark appeals to the target audience by touting their experience with and knowledge of this particular subset of the correctional industry. Their services provide a solution which by definition signifies there is a problem to be solved. The tagline suggests a quote, emotionally rejuvenating dining experience, end quote, which is part of this, that solution, which allows for morale boosting, employee retention, and increased productivity. The goal of comfort and emotional stability is offered through the act of dining and eating. It all begins with the dining areas, which provides a haven or an oasis where the diners are protected and kept safe from the stormy seas of their stressful surroundings. In a world where routine is mired with uncertainty, Aramark does not assume to know exactly what will cover the needs of the correctional staff, so they routinely conduct surveys to assess the needs of this group as well as cater their solutions to those with specific dietary needs. For commissary slash fulfillment solutions, commissary is something that drives a revenue. 
and, draw, and Aramark provides products and services, but also uses the power of their experts and collective skills as management consultants for the corrections industry to streamline their commissary assets and, quote, management tools. They offer to design and develop operations for clients to optimize the, quote, revenue stream, end quote, with a monetary return for their efforts, as well as greater beho behavioral control over those who engage with their services. Focus groups and surveys help Aramark to, earn, to learn about the needs of their target audience. They seek to create an experience in order to entice participants and, quote, increase earnings for the client. Thank you. The United States of America should change its name to the United Slaves of America because we have the highest incarceration rate in the world. There are more black people incarcerated now than there were slaves in 1850. Even the most corrosive organizations require external, external suppliers, just as the Clothier Brooks Brothers, formed in 1816, once provided coarse clothing for the southern plantation slaves. Companies like Cornerstone Detention Manufacturer distribute and install detention equipment to prisons on the local and state levels. On the Cornerstone website, floating beneath the company name like a stinking dead fish in the filthy Hudson, is the company tagline, building on the foundation of success. Indeed, slavery was enormously successful, the foundation of which was poured and cemented over hundreds of years. The institution of slavery is a gold thread woven into the fabric of this country. The string has a beginning, but does not seem to have an end. America remains nostalgic for that era, nostalgic and unrepentant. And in her bereft and the longing for the days of old, she has used laws and lobbyists and fear to resurrect a system that the Emancipation Proclamation terminated, or so we thought. Correctional programs, LLC, educational and recreational products, is a company that provides prisons with parenting videos such as bonding with your baby, 16 minutes available in English or Spanish for $69.95. Single parenting, 21 minutes, available in English or Spanish for $69.95. Fathers Matter, 19 minutes, available in English or Spanish for $69.95. I doubt an incarcerated mother or father would have enough time to properly or effectively bond with their baby. By the time said convicted person completed his or her prison term, that child might be a single parent, him or herself. Maybe correctional programs should consider changing the title from Father's Matter to Grandfather's Matter, because an inmate is likely to be a grandfather by the time he is set free from the system. No book bundles or parenting videos are offered in any language other than English or Spanish which certainly exposes the truth about the ethnic groups that make up the principal population of these prisons. The logo for the Phoenix Supply Company is the Phoenix, a bird in Greek mythology recognized as a symbol that is cyclically reborn. The Phoenix achieves new life by arising from ashes of its predecessor. What a fitting emblem for a business that is profiting from the renaissance of slavery. Prominently displayed on the company's website are items that are directly related to black men and their grooming habits. Products like Coco Care Shea Butter, because the belief is that black people have a tendency to suffer from dry and ashy skin. Not unlike the economic systems developed during the slavery era, correctional programs Phoenix Supply Company LLC, and Cornerstone Detention Products are companies all founded by white males. I suspect 
but that, that, that by the time my grandchildren are the age that I have been blessed to reach, the origins of these companies will be blurred or sanitized unrecognizably. Either way, I'm sure their figureheads will proudly proclaim, just as Brooks Brothers has, that they were one of the institutions that helped shape America, the United Slaves of America. Thank you. Good afternoon, I'm Emily Rubin. And my first product, data detective software. The Keefe Corporation secure data detective software as a cutting edge investigative tool that gives prison authorities the ability to identify connections between inmates and individuals on the outside by monitoring communications. The software tracks interactions, including funds and product transfers, cyber and phone contact, as well as in-prison visitations. The software is used for surveillance and to analyze activities, uncover and report relationships, and communicate patterns. The corporation claims the software to be the most advanced of its kind available to the corrections industry and promotes its effectiveness by claiming that it will dramatically reduce the time prison authorities, police, and lawyers will need while investigating individuals connected to open cases. The software's tracking abilities are indicated in this diagram with the red figures representing residents, aka the incarcerated. The blue figures, the outside visitor contacts. Any communication between incarcerated persons and outside contacts is recorded. The multiple categories of contacts indicated by the diagram include outsiders with residents, outsiders with other outsiders, residents with residents, as well as residents who become outsiders and outsiders who become residents. All activities are tracked and this information is recorded, stored, and made available to the authorities. It's not mentioned anywhere in the product information that anyone being tracked is made aware that this information is being collected. The, contact, the contract with the Keefe Corporation includes cost for emails, phone calls, receipt of packages that will be paid for by the inmates, their family, friends, and other visitors when the services provided by data detective software are used. A customer testimonial. Thank you for the low prices. Other companies that can overcharge because they are prison. This was the easiest shopping I have ever done. My next product is the Norix Inmate Cell Mirror from the Anchortex Corporation, a corporation we've heard from before. The tagline for the, this leader in the corrections and detention supplies market is proud to serve those who serve America. The corporation regularly supplies federal and state prisons, jails, and other detention facilities with furniture, clothing, toiletries, and tactical gear. Anchor Techs Corporation has contracts with the General Service Administration, the Federal Supply Schedule, and the Department of Defense. This product, the Norix Inmate Cell Mirror, is an unbreakable rectangular mirror that is secured to the wall with steel grommets. The mirror is made entirely of metal, therefore unbreakable. The brushed metal, being less reflective than glass, creates a distorted and shadowy image with prominent shades of gray. In low light, reflections in these mirrors are dim, almost unrecognizable. And in the harsh fluorescent light of a prison cell, there are blinding spots of reflected light. My third and last is from the PX Direct Jail products comes the grip restraint system. At 6395, this is an entirely new approach to the restraint and transport of prisoners. Using an encapsulated lock and flexible seat belt like material, it has been designed to reduce many of the injuries caused by steel handcuffs 
and leg irons. The product descri description indicates that the grip system has the following advantages over and above other systems. The system uses a standard handcuff key, but does not require double locking. The wrist and ankle restraints fit any diameter wrist and ankle securely. The system is made of flexible material which eliminates metal to skin contact, reducing potential injuries caused by steel cuffs. The entire system can be easily washed and sterilized. It has what the company calls a more humane appearance, suitable for all restraint situations. And the encapsulated lock with the tight tolerances and two independent locking gears gently, greatly, and gently reduces the possibility of a compromised system. The lock being stuck and unable to release, for instance, or the unexpected release. There is an optional D-ring, which can be added to the center of the connecting belt for maximum control and restraint of limbs. Norix Corporation sells to corrections, law enforcement, TV and movies, and the general public. All size orders are welcome. Thank you. The Core Craft Products Company sells jumpsuits for men in multiples of dozen. Base price, $245. What determines the quality of the jumpsuit? Core Craft Products provides the technical specs. Cotton, poly suiting, short sleeve Velcro closure, no pockets, sizes S to 3X. You should shop by category, apparel and textiles, dormitory, institutional, emergency supplies, security products, specialty Stella are among their selections. Quote, need help with institutional apparel? A potential buyer can email them at customer service. Core Craft Product can provide products and services only in the state and other government agencies, authorized political subdivisions, and registered not-for-profit organizations. Please note that if you prefer the color gray, is no quantity listed at this time. All colors in green, orange, and brown are made to order. Items are available on May the 30th, 2016. Green Giant Cream Style Corn, quote, picked and packed at the peak of perfection. Green Giant Cream Style Corn is a product sold by the E. Ford Commissary. They are New York's number one source for inmate commissary. The webpage connects its clients to 15 ounce cups of cream style sweet corn. The price is $1.95. It is in stock along with a category of other vegetables, meats, pastries and cakes, coffee and candy. There is the original variety, salt free, salad crisp, baby cobs and organic. The green giant on the package is tall, strong and evergreen. Glorious like the glory season color greens, a 27 ounce for $1.89. English greeting cards. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Easter with sympathy. Happy birthday, happy Passover, and happiness always. English greeting cards supplies you by Bob Barker, America's leading detention supplier. At the cost of $2.49, sold six per case, customers can demonstrate acts of love from Miss You to Valentine's Day. English greeting cards have patterns of beautiful designs, for your loved ones when you are incarcerated. To order multiple sizes and or colors, view the order grid and add items to cart. 
Other products are offered in the category of bedding and towels, officers only, mattresses, uniforms, and recreation. Additionally, Bob Barker provides services such as emergency management and van sale, prisoner transport that is safe, secure, and affordable. The website states, and I quote, by living our values and pursuing Bob's passion for customer service and innovation, we are creating profitable growth and positively impacting lives. Thank you. Uh, Bob Barker, who as you know is America's leading detention supplier, is not the same Bob Barker as the host for the TV shows Truth or Consequences and The Price is Right. A quick search online indicates public confusion and conflict concerning the matter. One of the products sold by the company is the disposable protective detainee hood. A photograph shows how the hood looks on a young, healthy white man with clean, freshly cut, light brown hair. The hood is made of two different fabrics. Its lower section is a solid white fabric with elastic hems, which fits from the subject's neck to under his nose in a 360 degree enclosure. Attached to that is black mesh covering the nose to the top of the subject's head, where it is sealed by a secure lock. Above the photograph is a red circle with an image of a white hand in a thumbs up position. The item's price per case of 10 is stated as $50.25. Under the price, in italicized words, the, these words are italicized, use on any subject that has become belligerent, unruly, or threatening. The medical filtration fabric helps contain contaminants and is a deterrent against biting or spitting, reduces risk of lawsuits resulting from other methods that may cause harm to the subject. Transport hood is easy to use and stays in place with a secure lock tab, reduces risk of exposure to airborne and bloodborne contaminants. The transport hood provides ample visibility, does not hinder breathing or hearing, and is not constricting in any way when used properly. The advertisement for the wall-mounted eyewash station sold through Cape Cod Systems is a necessary item in prisons. Detainees often suffer eye contamination. The Cape Cod System is friendly and gives personal service. Under that mention in the text is a pull-down clickable banner with 10 pull-downable possibilities. The first is suicide-resistant products. The last is jail products. Below that pull-downable banner, there is a cheerful bright green box in which it is written, get a quick quote. There is no price anywhere on the web page. A small photograph of the product shows a steel bowl sink fountain-like instrument with two spouts protruding from its center. Oval-shaped yellow plastic water dispensers are attached to the sink by steel pipes so that they face upwards. To the right and just below the sink is a yellow square with the image of a gray hand on it. A pipe connects it to the sink. What contaminants might be or are sprayed in inmates' eyes is unstated. Whether eyes are sprayed by fellow inmates or by corrections officers or both is also unmentioned. Another product from the CP Correctional Programs, uh, who manufacture educational and recreational correctional products exclusively for correctional facilities, are books. On the site, they safely accept Visa and MasterCard. There are many clickable invitations on the page, including, but not limited to, correctional news, 
an inmate entry program, and English paperback novels. When English paperback novels is clicked, a page opens offering English language paperbacks in lots of 100 for $500. There is a small photograph of paperback books with unreadable titles. There is also a link to Spanish leisure paperbacks, which when clicked on shows another small photograph of books with equally unreadable titles. Next to these books is written Spanish paperback novels, lots of 100. These are high quality paperbacks consisting of assorted novels, science fiction books, motivational books, and biographies for $575. Thank you. So first we have the Cook's Correctional Flex Tumbler. There is a small blurb stating that Cook's Correctional Flex Tumblers have been specifically designed for use in correctional, correctional facilities where security, durability, and ease of cleaning are top priorities. The description explains that the product is made of silicone, is flexible, and can neither be shattered nor made into a weapon. An exclamation point is used at the end of this blurb. Exclamation points can be used for emphasis and also to denote relief, surprise, astonishment, excitement, or cheer. The following points about the Cook's Correctional Flex Tumbler are conveyed in bullet points. Cook's Correctional Flex Tumblers are available only in orange or tan. Incidentally, the color is most commonly used to depict criminal garb in popular media. It is restated that the cup cannot be made into a weapon. This time, the word sharpened is emphasized. There is a two-year, no questions asked, full replacement warranty. There are quotation marks around no questions asked, and each of these words is capitalized. In the question and answer section, only one question has been posted. Anonymous asks, are they guaranteed? We purchase some and find that they can be bitten to the point that bite marks are showing. The main product photograph depicts three tumblers in three different sizes. The tumbler in the foreground is small, whitish tan colored. It is flanked by two taller, more formidable orange colored tumblers which press in behind it. All three tumblers appear in an opaque white vacuum. There are no perspectival lines within the photograph. As a result, they appear to float in space. The web page also contains a video. In this video, a young man with a shaved head and sparse patchy facial hair, wearing a drab institutional button-up shirt with an obscured logo, and holding an orange version of one of the Cook's Correctional Flex tumblers, introduces himself as Brian's, Brian Richardson from Cook's Direct. The best thing about the Flex tumbler, Brian Richardson says, is that it takes different shapes and always forms back to its natural position. As Brian Richardson conveys this point, he suddenly brings the hand holding the tumbler and his empty hand together, vigorously punching the tumbler in. This action produces a loud popping noise. Brian Richardson appears distracted as he looks down at the crumpled tumbler. His mouth opens a little and his face contorts. Finally, his face returns to its previous calm state and he looks back up and out at the viewer. He holds the tumbler up for the viewer, demonstrating how it is able to uncrumple, returning to its original form. Now we have the Cook's Correctional Knife Leaf Kit. While cookscorrectional.com sells a number of products designed to prevent conversion into sharp, potentially destructive objects, the website has several sections devoted specifically to the sale of sharp, potentially destructive objects. These include 95 different slicers and 112 types of professional knives. In a nod to this contradiction, the website offers a product called the Cook's Brand Knife Leash Kit. Using this product, the potential buyer is invited to tether, then lock any knife or tool to a table with ease to prevent what are ambiguously referred to as problems. The main product photograph depicts a glinting knife stabbing diagonally through the visual field. It is stopped mid-slash by a thin tensile metal leash which loops around it. This webpage also contains a video. 
The video opens with close-ups of the various components of the Cook, Cook's brand knife leash kit. A male voiceover pop, pipes up sounding chirpy, upbeat, vaguely familiar. Do you have misplaced or stolen knives, the voice asks. Did you lock down the kitchen and start turning over all the garbage cans until the knife was found? The voice pauses dramatically, then informs the potential buyer that Cooks has a solution, the knife leaf kit. The voice sounds cheerful, vaguely in awe of the system. While we don't see the person's face or body, his hands are shown, working away at the metal leash and lock, attaching them to a knife that appears quite suddenly, filling most of the screen. The voice describes the assembly as simple and encourages the viewer on as he works, saying things like, that's right, and screw until it's tight. Once it's really tight, the voice instructs, snap off the handle. There's a sudden editing cut, and in the next shot, the camera pulls away, revealing the head and face of the speaker. It's Brian Richardson of Cook's Direct from the other video. This time, instead of wearing a tan institutional button-up shirt with an obscured label, he wears a crisp light blue polo brand button-up shirt on which the polo label has not been blurred out. He looks happier than he did in the first video and relaxed. At Cook's, Brian Richardson says, our number one concern is safety. Brian Richardson leans slightly forward as he talks, his shoulders curved in. This gives him a casual appearance and his face looks softer than it had in the other video. His eyelids are droopy, half moon shaped, as in children's drawings of kindly animals. Take control of your kitchen tools today, Brian Richardson says. Make sure every tool is accounted for. His eyes close even more and his mouth settles into a soft, content smile. Last, we have the No Shank Superflex Pen and Pencil. The NoShank.com website describes its five products as protecting the, the protectors. This tagline has been trademarked. <coughs> UrbanDictionary.com defines shank as a slang term often used in the prison context. It is described as an elongated item which tapers to a point and thus is primarily used for stabbing and any crude sharp weapon created from otherwise non-imposing objects. NoShank.com does not define the word shank, assuming a pre-existing understanding of this term. The NoShank Superflex pen and pencil are two of five products sold on the NoShank.com website. Other products include the NoShank toothbrush, general population toothbrush, and high security mini razor. The product descriptions for the NoShank Superflex pen and pencil state that each of them writes in 87 languages, spells the most difficult words correctly, and solves math problems. Since these features are not yet technologically possible, we can assume that the author of this content is speaking humorously. The product descriptions for the NoShank pen and pencil get serious and state several times that each is super flexible but rigid enough to write with. There is a photograph of a hand holding the no shank super flex pen between its thumb and pointer finger, showing how easily it bends. Flexibility is clearly an important point on this web page. Unless the hand in this picture is abnormally large and the pen only seems small in comparison, the pen appears short enough to provide significant discomfort if attempting to write more than just a few words. The NoShank Superflex pencil is the same size as the pen and apparently similarly flexible. You can wrap it around your finger, the description enthuses. The description concludes by assuring the consumer that the products will not support electricity, nor will they support flame. No electrifying or inflammatory writing will be produced using the Superflex pen and pencil, the subtext suggests. Or at least that is the assurance NoShank.com would like to instill in the consumer. Thank you very much. One of the things we were curious about is uh, where are these companies? And we uh, picked one at random, which we thought was going to be in Texas, the Charm Tex Corporation. And we were actually surprised to find it is here in New York, in Brooklyn. And has an address of, I think it's 1816 Coney Island Avenue, 
And if you look at that picture in Google Maps, it's just a little tiny dumpy building. And so I began to look at the invoice forms, and my colleagues helped me do this as well, and we saw that they had contracts with 48 states from this little building, but then we saw there's a warehouse facility that they own in North Carolina. And previously they had supplied towels, sheets, um, pillowcases, that sort of product for department stores and manufacturers like Kmart and so forth. And they have gradually moved their business into healthcare products and uh, services. Uh, the markup seems to be greater there. And now they've added in the last few years prison uh, accounts. So they have accounts in 48 states currently. And on each of the forms that we were able to access, which are registration forms for Department of Corrections for each of those states for different facilities, uh, the sales manager is a fellow named Stan Danziger. And I thought it would be interesting to try to have a conversation with him. And I looked in the phone books and we did all kinds of searches and we could not find Stan Danziger. Uh, and at that address, we did find uh, Shmuel and Shlomo Danziger. So we think that they might be related to Stan and we will pursue that further. <laughs> the method that we're using today is an observation method based upon the principles outlined by poet Marie Ponceau and her colleague, fellow poet, writer Rosemary Dean, both of whom are here today. And their book, Beat Not the Poor Desk, forms the foundation of our coursework in Brooklyn at the Writers' Foundry MFA. The program you just saw was curated by our own Helen Hofling. It is the very first time we've done it, and so we're learning uh, how we want to uh, take it, when we take it on the road, how we want to uh, arrange chairs differently and so forth, but I thank my colleagues so much for, for, for this test run, and I believe it illustrates what we at the Writers Foundry call the group mind, and we believe the group mind is more powerful than the individual mind, and I hope that you will rejoin us following the break because what will happen then is our curator, Helen Hofling, will take the stage uh, with the prison writing coordinator, Tim Small, and they are going to begin to untangle the labyrinth that is the Correctional Corporation of America, which is the largest private prison uh, system in America. And together we will lead you to the future, one that is already planned and is being implemented by the prison industry. And we will show you how that future connects with shocking alacrity and stealth to the theme of this year's festival, which is Mexico. Thank you. <laughs> 